What can you tell me about the church located in Bandor? Bandor? Wesley Corners Church. The minister there used to be Jim somebody. Pretty sure he touched a little boy so you know. I did Sunday school there, believe it or not. My dad said I needed it, but I got kicked in. Uh, my parents got married there. Nice little town of Bandor. There's some graves in the back, so people have obviously been buried there. Had a few funerals go through there in my day, but you know, nothing really exciting. You go there and pray. It's like any other church. It's nothing fancy. It's, it's nice. Nice place to go and hang out and drink a few beers. What can you tell me about the coffee time in Vandor? Coffee time? That takes me back. That was the old hangout, you know? You ever watch Wayne's World? Always hang out in the coffee shop. That was our coffee time. Attached to the Petro Canada there in the corner. Gas price is always three or four cents higher than everyone else's because we're right here in the boonies, right? You know, cost an extra $16 to ship it over here. Uh, yeah, bought and they got to make good honey crew. It's places that dive, actually. It's gone downhill the last few years, but it used to be really nice when it was owned by that, like, Italian couple, not so bad. I don't know who it's owned by now. Roger Stewart used to work there. I think he went to jail recently. Um, pretty decent place. Make a mean cup of coffee. Open at most retarded hours, like 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. I can't, can't get a dozen donuts for dinner, but... Stop in while you're here. You might as well. There's nothing else around. Slowly, on the closer, time to dance. <clears throat> what can you tell me about the infamous Ice Palace? The Van Dorf Ice Palace. I, t I learned to skate there when I was like 12 years old. Got my first pair of skates. CCM Intruders, size 10 from Canadian Tire, $69.99. That was a steal back in the day. I uh, took those babies out and they flooded this. It's like an ice rink. So it's got boards and a basketball. And it's got everything you want. You play any sport on there, including lawn darts, any time of the day, any time of year. You know, it just works. Van Dorf Ice, we've got some hazy memories there. I had my first drink at the Van Dorf Ice Palace. It was, uh, it's hazy to say the least. Um, I, don't, I don't really remember much about that. What else we used to do at the Van Dorf Ice Palace? Ride our bikes there. Get in fist fights. Go to the convenience store. Play hockey. Ball hockey in the summer. Lacrosse. The Ice Palace. If you come to Vandorf and don't see the Ice Palace, you ain't never been to Vandorf. That's, that's all I gotta say about that. What can you tell me about the baseball diamonds? Vandorf baseball diamonds. I played like eight years in Vandorf softball. And like a year or two of t-ball. Uh, they're pretty shabby right now, actually not in great shape, I haven't been kept up. We used to have a Witcher Stovall baseball team ages like 6 to 22, it was like men's league, child league at the same time. I like to play first base, but I skipped all the practices, so they always put me in left field. But I was always like Babe Ruth popping the, popping the ball over left uh, fence there, but it was nothing great, we never won a game. Eight years I played, I, I didn't win a single baseball game, so, you know, you know how I feel. Thank you for your time. I got some closing words, actually. Let's hear them. If you're in Vandor, get out. If you've never been, just don't come.